Picture this storyline. An African orphan lines up in one of pro cycling's biggest classics, the epic Milano San Remo. Eight years before, he'd never so much as pedalled a single stroke. It sounds far-fetched, but this is a true story. My name is Songeza Jim. I come from South Africa in Cape Town. There was a race, uh, they, actually the race still running, pick and pay, keep a guy cycle tour. So it goes right through next to my house. So like we decided to just go and cheer for the people on the road. The flashes of colour and speed captured Songezo's imagination, leading him to the doors of the Velo Kaya Academy, which uses the bicycle as a tool to help empower township children. They gave me the bike. They said, oh, wow, here's the bike. Now we can all start going to train, you know? And then I got the kit, put it the kit. I was so excited and everything, but I was so scared because I know I don't know how to ride a bike. What am I going to say to those people? With help and perseverance, 14-year-old Songezo learnt to pedal, a skill that was to change his life. It's been a long journey for me, you know, on and off the bike. I mean, like, I've had some tough times, you know. I mean, like, for me, losing my parents when I was really young, and that was actually one of the hardest things that I actually had to face in my life. And But I had so much support from people who've been around me, from the club, Velokai, that I started where I started cycling from Team MTN, Quebec, and you know, and the family, my friends, you know, I have so much support and that's one thing that actually got me from riding a bike till I was 14 and now I'm with the pro team. Thus it was in 2013, eight years on from those first tentative pedal strokes with Velo Kaya, that Songezo played his part in an epic day as one of eight MTN Quebecer riders who helped Gerald Cholek deliver a historic victory to the new African Pro Conti team. It was, it was a crazy day, I must say, first of all. Uh, at first, we first crashed. I mean, like, I think five of us went down. Martin Rama took Gerald Scholek's bike and he rode away. And Gerald is looking for his bike and then he, hey, hey, bring back my bike. <laughs> and then he had to bring back his bike and then he got his bike and then we had to change bikes after that crash. I mean, like, for me and Sergio, the Spanish guy, it took us 45 minutes to get back to the peloton after that crash, then it started snowing really bad. Like I couldn't see the road, you know? I had my glasses like here. So I'll just look for 100 meters. If I could see the road is still straight, then I just close my eyes and then I look again because of the snow was like in my glasses that I can't see and it also it came into my eyes also. And then at the end, seeing Gerald Scholek taking first place, that was like, it was amazing. It was, it felt so great, you know I mean? like. Some of us didn't get to the line, but at the end, we were all a team. We supported him to get to get to the line, and he pulled it off. So that was just a special moment for the team, yeah. Such a big win was a coup for the team, which transcends the narrow confines of professional cycling. It provides a structure for black African riders to get a step on the ladder, while the Quebecer charity provides South African children with bikes in return for planting trees and recycling. It, it teaches the kids that uh, in life there is nothing that is for free. You have to work for it in order to get something. You put kids on Quebecer bikes and then after, because they do street racing and everything on those Quebecer bikes, then afterwards you can, they're going to go to a next step, next step, and then at the end of the day they are they'll become pro cyclists from the Quebecer bikes. It's good for Africa and it's good to help kids and everything, but also it's good to promote cycling as well. And what a year 2013 was for the continent. Songezo's friends, fellow Africans Daryl Impey and Chris Froome achieved great things at the Tour de France, in turn inspiring the dreams of other African cyclists. Seeing uh, riders from the African continent achieving such an amazing result, you know, 
I mean, like it's guys that I know personally. You know, I know from I know that are MP. I know anything anybody can do it, but you just have to believe in it and put in the hard work, then the results will come at the end. Of course, for all but the most talented, it's about taking one step at a time and learning. Something the team management has been teaching Songezo. He has a very big engine. He's so strong on the bike, but a few months ago for him making to the finish was, was already a good result. But it's a waste of, of talent if you have more in yourself than you show. The first time I met him it was in uh, Drenthe. Yeah, and then I think yeah, that's so much waste of energy. If you learn to start in the front, you can do a top 20 result. And then he's, he's looking to you very strange, but you know, day by day now he understands that I was not lying. Maybe the results are coming very soon. That's the thing about cycling, you know, you have ups and downs, you know, so you just have to keep on going, you know, which is like the Kubeka. Kubeka is our project. The word Kubeka, it means keep on going. So I just have to keep on going. Everything is gonna fall back to where it's belong at the end of the day.